What's up, YouTube? I'm King Shanks, and this is Droid's Finest, and I'm back with Overlive, Part 6. Let's get into this. Now, when I left off, I need to finish up what I was doing um, in that one area. Uh, the parking garage, that's right. Gotta go back to the parking garage, finish up everything that's in there, and then I'm gonna go to the basement and explore that. Yeah, there's not much left in here anyway, so let's get to it. Stay Strange Graffiti. Park near the front of the garage, you spot a slavist military jeep. As you inspect the exterior, you discover a strange piece of graffiti spray-painted spray across the passenger side door. You're being controlled. What's that supposed to mean? Are slavists behind the massacre here? Maybe. I like the music in this game, by the way. It's really good. Damn it! You search for the... Wait, you search... The convertible. Oh, okay, there's a convertible item. So you search the convertible and discover that it has a computer system embedded in the dash. When you touch the screen, it comes to life and asks you for a password. You connect your laptop to it via Bluetooth connection and attempt to hack it, but your skills aren't up to snuff. Disappointing. God damn it, that flies back. Ugh. Stupid fly. Dark corner. Okay. In a dark corner, and through the darkness, you see a zombie hunched over about ten feet down from a pile of crushed boxes. There appears to be something buried under the boxes. Flashlight. Ah. You flick on the... You flick on the flashlight and the zombie immediately reacts with a moan and stares at the wall that you are illuminating. You drag the light across the wall. The zombie begins to follow. You lure the zombo, zombo, the zombo around the corner, leaving you to discover a bike underneath a pile of boxes. Ah! I can travel now! It's not going to win any races, but it should let you navigate the dead car-clogged roads outside of the apartment building. You can't believe you're mobile. Okay, so I got a bicycle and three supplies. That's good! I can actually leave. I don't even need to go to the basement. Um, I still have 132 days, so I, I don't think I need to mobilize myself just yet, but I should strongly consider starting to mobile, mobile myself, I mean... You notice an old hearse parked against the far wall. Opening, upon opening the rear door, you discover a coffin. You slide out the co you slide the coffin out of the hearse and open it cautiously to reveal a book. It looks like it looks to be made of well-worn black leather, and has nothing but Necronomicon in gold lettering on the front. You suddenly get ver a very bad feeling. The Necronomicon is basically the book of black magic. A lot of people say it's a Satanist black magic, or they say, they think it's the book of the dead, because of evil dead leading you on to believe that, but that's not the truth. The Necronomicon is actually a book of black magic. I know because I have it. So, yeah. It's not anything about uh, worshipping the devil or anything in there. It's literally a book about black magic. Uh... I don't know if I should read it. I mean, I've read it. You're not supposed to read it out loud or anything like that. It warns you against that. But even then, it's it's probably not real anyways. Okay, let's read it. With shock, you wake up. With a shock, you wake. Frantically checking your watch, to, you realize you've been unconscious for more than an hour. You remember deciding to read a black the black book and then nothing what's worse the book is nowhere to be seen you feel shaken but otherwise fine and try to forget the whole experience hopefully this won't come back to haunt you later it will <laughs> oh it will 
scrap of clothing. You examine the cars piled up in front of the garage's exit. Somebody, someone's deliberately smashed these things together to prevent people from driving out of here. As you walk along the mangled chassis, you notice a scrap of clothing hanging snagged hanging snagged on one of the broken windows. It looks vaguely military-like, but it's not fr from a Slavis uniform. Weird. Okay, so that's all I can do down here. I can wander again, I guess. See if I find something. Nope, found nothing. Okay, so let's get out of here. Okay, so now I can actually go to downtown. I can go to the waterfront. And I can go to the dark basement. And now the whole point of this game is that you want to get out of the city, right? You need to get out of the city before your days are up. So, I could use a day to go and check out the dark basement. I think I'll do that now. I'm going to just check around. Hopefully not get into too many fights. It's pitch black down there. If you open the door... And listen carefully, you can hear an echo of what sounds like a metal gate being rattled. A constant humming reverates through the darkness. Okay. Or reverates? I don't know, whatever. Okay, so. Alright, my health is still good, everything's still good. Let's go ahead and search into the darkness. I have a flashlight and a bike, so take that. You step into the, the apartment basement and are struck by a sense of foreboding. You squint and try to survey the area, but you can't make out much. It feels cramped in here, like the ceilings are a few inches too low. There appear to be several storage rooms and corridors. You, you immediate vis, in your immediate, immediate vicinity, an ambient hum fills the air. Do you really want to go down there? I kind of have to. I'm already here. Zombies? Zombies. Oh, whoa, hi! A big zombie. Bigger than you've ever seen awaits you at the bottom of the basement stairs. Its eyes light up and it lumbers towards you when it sees you. Oh god, he's strong too. Ooh. That was a big old fat zombie. So what I've decided I'm gonna do though is um if I don't make it out of the city on this run, like this time playing, uh I'll play it again on uh free roam, so that way I can just roam wherever I want, and it doesn't take up days, but if I die, there's a death penalty, and it'll take things away from me, um, I'll do that, and I, because I do want to see about getting out of the city, if I don't make it out of the city on this run, I will definitely on the next run, and yeah, so it's probably going to be more than 20 episodes on this game, because I'm, I'm loving it already, an enormous corpse falls to the ground, with a sickening thud, you shudder and move forward into the darkness of the basement. Good, good, getting stuff. Okay, so I guess I'll go ahead and go to this one. Nice! I made good, good choices! You discover an unopened package of frosting-filled snack cakes. People would kill for these. You, <laughs> Oh, okay, they're talking about Twinkies. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. What movie is that? I can't remember. Can't remember the name of it right now. Uh, it's got Bill Murray and everybody in it. <laughs> People would kill for these. You calmly rip open the wrapper and scarf down all four cakes in a quick succession. For a brief moment, things don't seem so bad. Got C C4 and some dynamite. I still don't remember how to change my weapons while I'm in battle, but I'll figure that out. The next battle I'm in, I'll, I'll try to check it quickly. Alien emblems. Taped to the wall in the basement, you find a large hand-drawn chart labeled Alien Emblems. 
It depicts several dozen hand-drawn symbols that look like nothing you've ever seen. A few of the emblems have been circled and underneath some has written the names... Oh, someone has written the names of locations throughout the city, the boardwalk, the highway, and the suburbs. Okay. That's cool. Let's just keep searching, I guess. Storage room. Shoot the tank? Why would I do that? You slip into the basement storage room and spot a dangerous group of zombies huddled together against the back wall. There's a loud hum men emanating. Emanating? Emanating? Emanating, that's it. I think, maybe. I don't know, whatever. From somewhere in the room, you might, which might help to cover the sound of your footsteps. A few feet away from the zombies, you see a propane tank. Obviously, shoot the propane tank. Uh-oh. Okay, so... I don't think shooting the propane tank worked very well. That's good stuff that I got though, so. You pulled out your gun and. You pulled out your gun and put the tank in your crosshairs. Your shot was dead. Was dead on. And the tank exploded, tearing many of the zombies apart. You easily took down the remaining stragglers the storage room is now yours to explore good I like it when it's mine to explore okay so now I can continue the path I was going or I can pick something new so let's go ahead and uh, let's go here metal door you come upon a heavy metal door in the far corner of the storage room that seems to be the source of the loud hum Heat pours out from the vent in the wall nearby. Must be the furnace room. Could that be a generator? Pick the lock. Damn it! Sweat drips down your face as you pull, as you try again and again to defeat the lock. You give up when one of your picks breaks. This sucks. Yeah, tell me about it. Okay, so this is where I was originally going. Leather straps. Scraps, actually. In one of the hall closets, you find a number of sizable leather scraps. The leather is soft but strong. You could use it to modify your backpack if you were willing to part with the sizable amount of supplies to do it. No thanks. Not worth it, you think. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely what I think. So... Go to the center of the room, I guess. Aha. Uh -huh. I knew it. These guys aren't too bad because they're slow. But it's the fast guys that are hard to beat. And apparently there are boss fights in this too, so that's another thing to look for. Woo! I found some good stuff. <clears throat> with the zombie with the zombie down, you discover a small toolbox. Upon poking through the toolbox, you find a handy pair of wire cutters. That's good. And some explosive materials. So these are my wire cutters, right? Plus 5% explosives. Okay, that's cool. And I got a bunch of supplies on that too, so that's really good. Right here. Right there, there, please. Dark corridor. Near the back of the storage room, you discover a dark corridor that appears to lead to another section of the basement. You hear raspy breathing. Carefully run flashlight. Probably not a good idea, right? Illuminated threat. You flick on your flashlight. 
It reveals a fast-moving zombie coming at you from the other side of the hall. Defend yourself. Kicked his ass. I'm out of time, but I'm just gonna explore until it tells me that the day's over, right? Like before. The zombie defeated, the zombie defeated, you make your way to the end of the corridor, which reveals another ominous hallway. Oh, great. So, it just cut off a couple of my areas that I could go to. A dark hole. At the end of the ominous hallway, you discover several empty crates and some rags. You notice the dust around one of the crates has been disturbed. Moving it, you find what appears to be an underground tunnel. Good eye. Follow the path of the underground tunnel, I guess. Survivor's hideout. After crawling through the underground maze, you emerge into a small hideout, stocked full of books, ammo, and supplies. This is obviously someone's home, and the lack of dust indicates that someone has been here recently. Ian? Ian? Oh! Boom! That was a right decision. You spelled a you spell ah you spot a well worn parka hanging from a hook on the wall. Ian, this must be his old place. You decide to take him up on his offer, and raid the room for supplies. Things are definitely looking up. Yeah, I would say so. I'm just gonna go again. Ian's locker. You decide to break. You decide not to break Ian's trust. You leave the box in the locker for now. Ian's probably dead. I'll leave it. You decide to do the honorable thing and you leave it be for now. I don't need any problems with this Ian guy trying to kill me later. Locked door. On one side of the storage room, you see a door marked la larder. Okay, in green paint. Probably lots of food in there. You try to hand, you try the handle, but it won't. You try the handle, but it seems stuck. Kick it open. Kick it open. Damn it! Give the door a kick, and it flies open. Immediately, a blade swings from above. A trap. You attempted to jump out of the way. But you are not agile enough, and the blade wedges into your shoulder. Ouch. Well, damn. Wasn't expecting a blade. Oh, here we go. That's better. Not a scrap of food remains in the larder room. You're about to leave empty-handed when you spot something behind the door. Reaching behind the door, you pick up a solid oak baseball bat. You create a... with... You create a rubbery grip with some of your tape and take a few practice swings, get a feel for its weight. It's a serious upgrade from your hammer if you're going to bust a lot of skulls with this thing. Yes, sounds good to me. The sun is setting. Okay, so stay home. And when I come back in the next episode, which is coming right now, when I come back in the next episode, I'll do some training and then I'll head back out. So stay tuned and I'll see you soon. Peace!